All right, so welcome to part two of this awesome conversation with our dear friend Anthony Ewing, a fellow entrepreneur and uh, overall, you just said it before, clouds and dirter. We're yeah, all Gary Vee disciples. Yeah. Uh, we, we're all about you know the the macro thought, but the getting shit micro execution. done, micro execution. Absolutely. So that's awesome. Uh, yesterday we did part one in this conversation. Uh, we jumped into the beginning of the Apple Watch and, and Anthony's personal experience with it. Uh, but today we want to continue that conversation and then talk about his grandfather's long lost Rolex. So uh, let's do it, guys. What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Sunday, and welcome to this special edition episode of Rant TNH. I am Christian from Theo and Harris. This is Rolando and Anthony, and we're about to have a lot of fun. So stay tuned. Well, that was the beginning. Um... Do you want to do like before we get started? Introduce... Yes. All right, before we jump into today's awesome conversation, let's introduce you, Anthony. Talk about your company, who you are, just for a second, real quick. Thank you, hello, watch fam. I am Anthony Ewing. Uh, I am the founder of Thoughtium. We are a uh, consulting business, really focused on the learning experience and designing great learning experiences, also designing great strategy. So all um, really kind of, let's start that over again. So, well. All right, before we get into today's awesome conversation, we'll do a quick introduction. Anthony, please t- tell, tell, tell my, tell my tell people. Who you are. Tell my people. <laughs> our people who you are. Watch fam, thank you so much for having me. I am Anthony Ewing. Uh, I am the founder of Thoughtium. We are a consulting company that focuses very deeply on the learning experience and the strategic experience in corporate America. I love it. That's a Great plug for yourself. That was yeah. really good. Seriously, I've never, I've never <laughs> plugged yeah. the yeah, that, yeah. that well. Oh, I've plugged myself. I'm always before. stuttering. Yeah, yeah. And like, <laughs> like, yeah. We talking about watches. <laughs> uh, that was <laughs> awesome, Anthony. I highly recommend you guys check him out on YouTube uh, at Thoughtium, right? Just, just absolutely, or Instagram at Thoughtium.ae. Both links are in the bio, uh, and that's it, Anthony. Bottom line is, you know, uh, Anthony's is before Thoughtium, uh, a dear friend of my dad, and then by of uh, me by extension, uh, and and Anthony and my dad and myself, we share core like principles about not only building business but just operating like as people uh, at work you know what yes, I mean like that, that's it we work in totally different industries all three of us um, but we really are so damn similar in how we work uh, and that's great so Let's jump into some conversation about the Apple Watch because you are the first Apple Watcher uh, in this office. It's, it's more of a function of my demographic right. right like I'm actually coming to a point in my life where uh, maybe a nicer watch with a suit uh, is a little bit more attractive to me today than it would have been, you know, five or seven years ago. There's a part of me now that is a little bit more interested in something that is a bit more timeless, that's a bit more cultured, that's a bit more yeah. reflective but of my That's the way age. you are, though. That, that, that's, I, I never would have thought otherwise about Anthony. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I have a question. Can Anthony live with an Apple iWatch during a day? And then go out for a great meal, yeah. and I think that's it. I, I, that's honest, a very I, interesting. Yep, yeah. Absolutely, I think that's it. There, there are so many times because the value in the Apple Watch for me is in its functionality from eight to five. I do think that there is a place beyond wow. five o'clock. Interesting. Yeah, it's a huge and and I felt it. I mean, there's times when I, I when cool. I'm going out on a Friday or Saturday night and I'm putting like a nice jacket on or a right. suit. And it just doesn't feel it's right like that this watch is going on my wrist. Yeah. yeah, but it's the only watch that's yeah. on my trip. Yeah, that's interesting. Absolutely. So now, so, so now with that, you are you know, saying that the Apple Watch, I know you mentioned it before, but on a day-to-day business basis, it absolutely is an asset. If your phone is important to you, the Apple Watch, and 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 really this was designed with the intent that this is the, the, an extension of your phone, mm-hmm. then there's there's value in that. So interesting, you know. I know that uh, yeah. I, I haven't been I haven't been staunch essentially against the Apple Watch. It's certainly not. I've never made that stance on, on on the channel before. I don't feel that way, you know. But because I ha- don't have the experience of wearing it, knowing it, I am very very interested in one where it is right now as far as its function and its capability to aid professionals today, as well as where the hell is it going. I hear a lot mm. of people talking about the health aspects of the Apple Watch and and how I guess it, it you know it theoretically could monitor you know you and, uh, steps are easy that's been that's been around for a while but even more than that you know much more I, I, right I wonder yeah. where that could go I, I'm ignorant on it well and I'll tell you where where I think it's going may actually even push me out of their their target 
and 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 uh, it, it's, it really feels like and it, it sounds like that they are hedging going all in on the health aspects yes which makes are. it even more of a yes. mainstream yes. device totally because I mean, it, elderly people then could really be eligible for the Apple 100%, Watch. Yeah, Whereas yeah, yeah. you would never imagine selling your grandmother an iPhone. No, you wouldn't. But an Apple Watch, maybe. Right. Apple. But but where it's going to pinch yeah. where it's going to pinch people Scary. like myself out are you know the little bit more maybe serious athletes. Right. Um, you know, in my spare time, I do triathlons. I'm, right. I'm a pretty serious runner and, and cyclist swimmer. I do all those things. Um, I would That's never why he shaved his head. Yeah, right, right. It's a little it's bit quicker in the water. It's not because he's bald. It's a little bit quicker in the water, yeah. And it's to absorb all this secondary light in the room as well, too. Um, I would never wear this as a training device. Okay. And you ask any serious triathlete endurance not. runner, they will, they, not. They, they will not. Even though you guys this, are the most concerned about health out of almost anybody. Absolutely. And metrics. And the reason why is because for, for very simple reasons. Um, for example, this doesn't have physical buttons that allows me to start and stop right. uh, my run. Right. And so if you are a serious runner and you're going on a long run and you're drenched in sweat, right. there is no swipe left, uh, you know, zoom in pinch functionality right. that I'm going to want to deal with or manage on a long run. Right. I want a physical button under my hands. Right. Right. Um, the other thing too is that because Apple is, is so kind of closed in terms of uh, their um, software, um, we endurance athletes and serious athletes like to use third-party software like Strava and other yeah. apps that don't play well on the Apple Watch. So I, I think the Apple Watch is actually going a lot more mainstream. They're going to be cutting out kind of the, the both extremes of, of athletes, those that maybe don't care about, you know, a constant heart rate or EKG metrics right. um, on the low end. And then those like myself on the high end that really want some sophisticated uh, analytics and, God forbid, a button to start and stop my run. Right. I think those people are going to start to to be pushed out. So really the value for me then becomes, uh, again, more of a productivity tool during the day. But you're, you're sacrificing a couple million dollars, a couple hundred million dollars for billions. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I always say the same thing about the, about the watch industry. You know, I uh, I am definitely, you know, uh, you know, same thing with you as far as wine. I mean, you know, I'm a watch geek and you're a wine geek, but neither of us are, uh, are so in the core like I hate to say geek because it's using it again and again but like this um, super anal uh, you know part of these communities where we refuse to right. uh, you know what I mean we're, we're yeah. a little bit more on the more moderate mainstream yes, kind of side absolutely uh, and I am with watches even though I, you know, this is what I do every single day I am very open to, to understanding what the mass people, what the mass wants. Right. I, I want them to want that. You know, it's not just about money, it's not about you're gonna sell more, but to me it's about I'm gonna speak to more people and know more people and, and create a larger community. And that's very interesting. So Apple's choosing, theoretically, to cut off those real extremes mm -hmm. to really pursue their domination. Yeah. Which they have with, the mass market, market, totally. with all of their products, right? Totally. And that's, that's why they win. Totally. But I think that presents a huge opportunity for any savvy watchmaker even on the, on the mid to higher end, to say, hey, Apple for eight to five. Yeah, Rolex yeah going back five, to that. Five that's to 11, such an five interesting point. Point. That's a great marketing kind of thing. And yeah. you know what that could be? Even if it's yeah. not just a single company, or like a reseller, like a massive, yeah. massive reseller yeah. or a dealer, you know, yeah. uh, that could work. Yeah, it could totally. work. Totally. I, I think that the, the, the- Embrace the Apple Watch. Reckon, don't don't reject it. Re embrace it. Embrace it, it yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's a place for for, Wonderfully made analog, you know, wristwatches. Yeah. You know. And I want to I want to pivot here for a second. Mechanical. I want you to go into. Uh, so you, you don't have you're you're not totally disassociated from the mechanical watch world. Your Absolutely grandfather not. had a yeah. had a Rolex, right? Absolutely. Tell that story. Yeah. So, um, you know, watches haven't uh, haven't held a, a special place in our family necessarily. Right. Um, but I know they've been there. I, I remember my grandfather in his earlier earlier years, he very much a businessman, sales in his blood, just like you and I as well too. So, um, I mean, he really prided himself on, prided himself on his his kind of outward appearance, the way he, the, his ability to connect with others. Yeah. Um, this was back in a day when selling was selling and you could entertain people and take them out to dinners and, and play golf, not right. like today in this kind of highly regulated world. Right. Um, and so, you know, a watch was an important thing to him. Uh, and he, he, he definitely had a, a gold Rolex that, uh, um, he wore uh, only on special occasions. He yeah. also wore a, a a special set of of cufflinks. Cuff I love it. Um, I was this guy just, was awesome. Just he just was great. In fact, I have a I have a tremendous 
uh, shot of him. He worked for a company by the name of Valspar back in the day, a big oh, powder, yeah. powder coating paint company. Okay. Yeah, sure. And uh, somehow Valspar put put out an ad at some point for uh, you know their their products. Wow. And my grandfather was the subject of it, and it was him in his oh, kind geez, of three piece so suit cool. with with his cufflinks and his gold Rolex, and it just I've got that frame oh, in my room my to just God, kind of remind so me what cool. good has looked like. Um, the, uh, the the cufflinks went to me, and I was super super on, you know honored to have them. Unfortunately, the the watch is still not in the family, but, but uh, where did maybe the watch go? I know that. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, we don't know. We don't we know. Do, we, we don't know where the watch went. Um, but at some point, I may go and find it. You got to go find yeah, that watch. Yeah. That sounds like a hunt. That sounds like an Indiana Jones. Movie. Like if I had to make a movie about Theo and Harris, like that would be it. I wear like a, I would be a professor. I wear, I wear a cap. I bring short round with me. Short you know? round. If there are any little Chinese the boys the out there Rolex. that want to wear as Japanese, I don't want to offend anybody. That, that want to come with me and do a video, we're gonna go find Anthony's Rolex because he is rightfully the heir to this, to this Rolex, this gold Rolex. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Rant Teenage. It was a little bit different on this Monday, uh, but if you want to know more about Anthony, and I really think that even if you don't think you want to, you want to. Uh, I know a lot about the guy, and you should learn more as well. Tell them where to find you, Anthony. Absolutely. You can uh, follow me on Instagram at thoughtium.ae. Hopefully we can yep, maybe absolutely. put the link somewhere. Right. We're going to put it right there. Boom. As well as uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about the learning experience, and how we design uh, uh, strategy and learning in the corporate uh, space, you can go to thoughtium.com. Uh, I also have started a vlog um, that is documenting my journey which as is, an entrepreneur. Which is definitely uh, worth your time. Thank you very much. And I've, I've learned a lot from Christian and, and as well, Rolanda. So thank you so much for having me today. And if you guys haven't already seen last week's Liquor Run, I remember last Friday's Liquor Run, I highly recommend you check it out. We got pretty bombed on this bottle of Faustino, which we're still <laughs> drinking. Uh, it's empty now, unfortunately. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a happy Monday. I will see you all tomorrow uh, on this channel for the new six watches hitting the Theo and Harris watch shop. So, cheers. Cheers. Salud.